Hey guys, we're in the age of digital dentistry and the most basic part of digital dentistry is the camera. Now most cameras are usually used for photos, portraits, landscapes, and things like that. We've always had to adapt them for use in the dental scene. But now we have an actual camera that was fully designed for dental photography. This is the iSpecial C3 by Shofu. So let's open it up. Comes with a wireless SD cam, standard pouches. Comes with a strap, extra cords for putting it up on screen, and the camera itself. Okay, there we go. Okay, first off, one hand manipulation. It's quite easy because it's very light. If you take a look, there's four flashes or four light sources here that again, it's fully designed for dental photography. Even the whole fact this thing is mostly plastic and there's no tight grooves means that it's easy to clean and easy to wipe down after each use. So on the left side is the memory card panel. Let's turn it on and it's a nice little display. Shofu, bunch of simple instructions we're gonna go through in a moment. I like that this lens cap is tied down here, meaning can't really lose it. Although you gotta be careful, I guess, that you're gonna dip it in the patient's mouth. <laughs> So if you're a little familiar with camera use, I mean, there's some basic buttons. Of course, this one takes a shot. And this one over here selects the magnification. Now there are a bunch of other details on this screen that you're gonna have to go over and of course we'll go over with you. Of course, we have here the F1 button. Now this shows you the different modes. We have standard, of course, for standard intraoral photography. Surgery, for intraoral photography from a certain distance for surgery because you really can't be in the way of the surgeon. Then we have the mirror mode for intro photography using a mirror. So this image can be reversed after shooting. There's a face shot or face shooting view. Again, this is for the portraits or half bodies if needed. Then of course, there's also the low glare setting. This one is used to minimize reflection and glare on teeth using the flashes right here. Because if you've ever done photography into the teeth, sometimes there's too much light or it bounces off the teeth because it's just a little bit shiny. And of course, there's the whitening mode. So this one is the best way to compare before whitening and after whitening. So it's all touch screen. I don't really have to fiddle with too many buttons other than just with what's on the screen. Then of course, there's the telemacro, which is taking close up. For example, I just wanna focus on the two centrals this one allows me to do so. And the last function on the mode here is the isolate mode. This is optimal for shade taking. It takes away the gums and focuses your color or your shade just on the teeth. So it de-emphasizes the background other than the teeth. So I'm in standard mode now. And there's even a guide here on the top which says this camera needs to be 22 to 70 centimeters away from the target. As soon as I click the button halfway down, it tells me how far away I am from my camera to this target. Right now I'm about 25 centimeters. And the ideal distance for the standard mode is 22 to 70 centimeters. So I guess I'm a bit close. So I'm gonna back up just a bit and let's try again. Now I'm at 35 centimeters. That sounds about right for me and let's take the shot. So now I'm trying to do a different mode and I'm too close. I'm too close, it actually blinks red that I'm too close. So I have to back up just a little bit. Now it's gonna tell me it's green, it's good. I'm in the correct zone. And I'm gonna take the photo. Let's see how that looked. And that's what I got. Let's see the other photos I took. This one was from a bit further away. Now this little knob here on the top, once you get used to this camera, you don't have to do all the touchscreen functions, but Let's say you're a beginner, the touchscreen functions work great. This is sort of dummy proof. For example, right now I'm too close for the selected mode I'm in. And no matter how hard I try to take the photo, it just won't let me. It just tells me it's red, not a good zone, not a good place to do this. So switch up the, the mode. So again, it holds your hand in a lot of ways. It holds your hand in making sure you're able to get the right photo without fiddling with too many functions. Now, why would anyone want this? Earlier, I talked about adapting a camera for dental photography. This is what we use at our office. 
And I don't know about you, but this is a big boy. <laughs> it's quite heavy. Holding it with one hand is tiring. One hand operation, not really ideal. And of course, you're gonna have to memorize or be well versed with all the functions and buttons of this. When I wanna do zoomed in views, outside views, I gotta fiddle with my knobs and fiddle with my ISOs, F-stops, things like that, a lot of technical stuff. It doesn't hold your hand like the Shofu cam. Of course, also the profile as well. I'm already struggling and shaking just holding this big heavy one here. It's designed very similarly, but this is just designed more efficiently for dental use. So as you delve further into the function of this, you can even organize your patients. It allows you to categorize them by patient number. Not necessarily that you have to input the number yourself, it just does it for you and it keeps all the records within that segment of the file. It's just an extra feature that you can work with when you want to organize your files. An interesting thing is once you bring this onto your computer, it actually watermarks this information onto those set of photos. Compared to the way I do it with this, such a fancy thing, what I do is I would actually get like a little post-it and post it on the side and take a photo of that as my way of tracking <laughs> the patient of, or the patient whose photo that I took of. With this cam, it does it all here on the camera itself. So that's the Shofu iSpecial C3, the smart digital camera designed exclusively for dentistry. It's a great product, especially if you're looking to start dental photography and you really don't want to have to have the headache of, oh, what lens do I need? What camera do I need? Uh, what settings do I need for this and that? The highlight of this is really the hand-holding, the way it guides you through the steps that you need to go through. Overall, a very nifty, well-designed product for dental photography. Look it up. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. See you next time. And as an added feature, it actually comes with a carry bag. Though again, I don't know where you want to carry this around to, maybe from one office to another. It even has the special logo up here. So just like any camera bag, it allows you to store all the cords and chargers that you need right in here. So it's its own little carrying case for your Shofu cam. <laughs>